Hey, what is up guys? David here from Phone Buff, and in this video, we're going to be comparing the Snapdragon S4 Pro to the Snapdragon 600. Now, we're not really looking to see which one is faster here, as being the newer chip from Qualcomm, we fully expect the Snapdragon 600 to outperform its predecessor. But what I really want to show you guys is how much of a difference there actually is between the two, using a real world test that isn't dependent on synthetic benchmarks or isn't heavily dependent on software optimizations, because the Nexus 4 that represents the S4 Pro here is running on pure Android 4.2, while the HTC One with the Snapdragon 600 is actually running on a modified version of Android with HTC Sense 5 over top of Android 4.1. So the first thing we'll do here is turn both devices on to make sure all the background apps are closed out, making this test as fair as possible. Don't really mind the results of the boot up as the HTC does have fast boot enabled, which makes it boot up a bit faster than it would with fast boot turned off. Now before we begin the test, I want to let you know that the Snapdragon S4 Pro is a quad core chip clocked at 1.5GHz, while the Snapdragon 600 found in the HTC One is also a quad core but it's clocked at 1.7GHz. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin the test, which will be transcoding the same video file on both phones at the same time to see which phone and its respective processor finishes the task first. Basically what's going on here is the phones are compressing the video file down to a smaller size, which is actually something that a lot of people use on their Android phones considering that you can't email files larger than 25 megabytes. Therefore, transcoding a video file is indeed a real world task and the processor you have under the hood could make a big difference in how long you end up waiting to do this. Okay, so this is actually a pretty big file we're transcoding here at 332 megabytes, so I'll go ahead and fast forward the video until one of the processors is almost done. Alright, so as you can see here, the Snapdragon 600 packing HTC One finished transcoding the video while the S4 Pro inside the Nexus 4 was about 70% done, making the Snapdragon 600 at 1.7GHz about 30% faster than the S4 Pro, at least when it comes to this processor and memory intensive task. Now really quick, I want to show you guys that software still does play a big role in the perceived speed by doing a quick browser test. So I'll load up phonebuff.com on both phones using Chrome, and as you can see, they both loaded up at about the same time. Loading up The Verge even seemed to be a little bit faster on the Nexus 4, which I'm willing to bet was a result of the enhancements made with Android 4.2 compared to the Sense 5 version of Android on the HTC One. Loading up an app gave similar results with, again, the Nexus 4 and its technically weaker processor actually loading things up a little bit faster. So answering the question in the title of the video, Yes, there is a significant difference between the Snapdragon S4 Pro and the Snapdragon 600, as you'd expect there to be and as there should be, but it'll probably only be noticeable to you when you're doing tasks that aren't necessarily heavily dependent upon software. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for me in this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Phone Buff channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus for more mobile technology content just like this. Thank you for watching.